Hey y'all, what's going on? This is Ebony. I'm coming back to you guys with a video. Um, it's been a very long and emotional day for me. Um, in the city of Milwaukee, guys, where I stay, last night it was a series of riots um, about three blocks away from my church home. They burnt up a beauty supply store, they burnt up a gas station, and they tried to set, well, they did set a bank on fire, and the bank is right next to the police station. What I'm coming on to tell you all is that it is really time, people, for us to stop judging each other, stop playing the blame game with each other, and love and support on one another. Because it's not even about the Black Lives Matter, none of that. Everybody's lives matter. It's time for us to all come together in unity and support one another in love. It's time for us to really do what God has called us to do, to be bold, to stand out, to speak his word, to pray on these situations. Because like my bishop said this morning, and like me and Bernard were talking, we are not battling against people. We are battling against these spirits, these spirits of jealousy, these spirits of misunderstanding, the spirit of racism, this uh, it is too many spirits dwelling around and none of none of us standing up against it and calling it out or getting to know that person that the spirit indwells that indwells in that person instead of us getting to know that person we judge that person and that is not and that is not what living a godly life is about because none of us is perfect like i've said in previous videos the only perfect being that walked this earth was Jesus Christ. It is really time, men and women of God, if you if you do not see it now, I don't know when you're going to see it, but it is truly time to start trusting, depending, and living the word of God because we are living in the last days. It was a 10-year-old baby out there, y'all, saying that he was ready to die. You know, for a Black Lives Matter, he's standing up for this, he's standing up for that. And it's just crazy. Like, we doing all of these things to fit in, to make a statement, to make our voices be heard. But the thing about it is this, if we come together in unity, peace, understanding, and love, we will be heard so much more louder than all of this foolishness that we're out here doing. It's time for us to turn from our wicked ways, to seek the Lord's face, and then he will heal the land, like Second Chronicles 7 and 14 says. But the thing about it is this. Something has to happen to get our attention, men and women of God. In the biblical days, they went through the plagues. The, when they battled with Babylon, uh, Pharaoh's heart, and all of that. Something has to happen to get our attention. And God has given us chance after chance after chance after chance to lean on him, to depend on him without things getting to where they are. But because people want to play God and not worship God, people want to take matters into their own hand, but not giving it to the I am, this is why we're living in a state of emergency, men and women of God. Because too many people are playing with God. They're playing like they have a relationship with God. But they don't. They don't. They want to look the part, but they're not living the part. And then when it's time to, 
go through things like this when you wake up and a whole block is a fire when you wake up and there's teenagers out here setting stuff on fire 10 year old babies out here ready to die some gotta give y'all and if we not giving it to god who is we gonna give it to he the one that created this work earth he the one who put us here so how dare we try to take him out of his creation this is his place he brought us here to praise and worship him but because we keep taking him out of things this is why things is the way that they are so i encourage you men and women of god remove your spirit of judgment replace it with a spirit of love joy peace and sound mind because otherwise we're gonna keep on going down this downward spiral if us as believers don't stand up and do what we're supposed to do by God we're going to keep going through these hellacious times men and women of God I encourage you all to pray to seek his face to stay encouraged because I know that this too shall pass be encouraged you all Till next video.